NSFW. People of Reddit who have had sex with an in-law or step-sibling or parent. What happened? How did you get into that situation and did anyone find out? I know someone who got pregnant from a guy and then later married him. No problems yet. Then. Though. The girl's mom and the guy's dad got together and had their own kid. So now the original couple has a brother together. The baby has a sister and brother married to each other. But they were married before any of the weird shit happened. Honestly if my parents pulled that shit. I'd be so pissed. Because no one is ever gonna believe the kids got married first. My brother and stepsister had sx. They are both married and have children and there is nothing weird between them. The weird thing is that my dad and stepmom encourage it. They wanted them to be together and get married. My stepmom will occasionally bring it up when she has been drinking like she still kind of wishes it had happened. Briefly. During high school. My girlfriend's parents were on the rocks. The mom was sleeping with another guy. And the family was in rough shape. So the dad's response was to go after my single mom. Next thing ya know. My girlfriend's dad is having an affair with my mom. While the girlfriend's mom is having an affair with an old flame. They're going on double dates together and the girlfriend and I are suddenly unofficial step-siblings. And yes. It was awkward. Even though it really had nothing to do with us. Thankfully. It didn't last long, maybe a month. Dot. Her mom and dad reconciled and things went back to normal. There was one night they all came over to my mom's apartment with wine. We all drank. The mom and her fling went to a hotel. My mom and the dad went to bed. And then the girlfriend and I went to bed. That was weird. Does that count? Lol. Edit. RIP my inbox. Holy crap this blew up. Lol. Trying to keep up with all the responses. Glad my most upvoted comment is just a hair short of a roll tide. I went to high school with these two girls who had been best friends for most of their lives. In 11th grade one of the girls started sleeping with the other girl's dad, older dad too. Not a young dad if that matters to you, and then began a relationship with him. Since she was 16 it was technically legal there. It was mortifying for the daughter because it was a small town and everyone knew. It tore the family and their friendship apart. It was awful to witness. I know it's not exactly what the OP asked for. In high school one of my close friends lost her virginity to her mid-30s stepbrother and began a relationship with him. They didn't grow up together. I always felt like he was a bit sleazy and that he groomed her. We were about 16. The thing is. They're still together. 15 years later. With a kid and everything. It really tore their family apart for a while though. This is it? This is how we wanna start 2018? At the wedding of my sister and my brother-in-law. I slept with his sister. It makes for some awkward family gatherings which I make worse by calling her sis edit not sure if I'm ashamed or proud of my highest rated comment. Proud it's proud hi Emma. My guy. My college roommate worked at a supermarket. He was banging the married manager of his department for a few months. He then started banging a girl in his class and then started dating. He broke it off with the manager. At some point he and I went clubbing and on the way home he got pulled over for a DUI check. He was sober and gave the cop a hard time being a dick. Long story short. He went to dinner with his girlfriend to meet her parents. Her mom was the manager. Her dad was the cop. I know they broke up soon after. 20 years later and we still joke about it when we get together. This happened to an ex-friend of mine in high school. The day I met her in math class. She kept bragging that she had an older boyfriend who drove a BMW. Turns out that older boyfriend was her stepbrother and nobody knew. Not even their parents. Although I think they suspected. Especially when the stepfather found a condom in the brother's room one time after a weekend away. She even got pregnant by this moron and had an abortion. All in secret. Oh. Did I mention she was a freshman in high school when all this went down? OP. You might wanna mark this, serious. Smart title. 
This thread would be filled with cousin Fkers. P. Ron Hub has taught me how it happens most of the time. One Christmas my uncle brought my future aunt-in-law over to meet everyone. I was 12 and she had big boobs. Like. Stupidly big boobs. I got binoculars as a gift as part of a kid's spy kit. I thought I was being so clever pretending to look around the room with them just so I could stealthily, she was sitting 10 feet away, get a full zoomed in image of those lovely jubblies. I did this for like 30 minutes. Holy shit! I actually went through the entire thread. Username checks out. Come up with your own plot ideas. P run hub. Ex-girlfriend told me she had experiences with her brother when they were both younger. I mean the whole nine yards. I guess they didn't know it was wrong. And thought of it as learning but she said she even swallowed. Tried to not let it change my opinion but that is definitely some news. Comma she said she even swallowed. Now how did you and Ajum's world get your ex to admit this this? I'm a sex worker. And my ex-boyfriend's dad paid me for sx 4 years before meeting my ex. Needless to say. We didn't stay together for long after that. Okay so I'm late and I hope this gets buried. I'm married to my sister. Wait put the pitchforks and vomit buckets down. She wasn't my sister when I married her. Feel better now? Onto the why. I've known my wife since we were little. Like younger than I can remember. Her backyard touched mine. My uncle was best friends with her father. I moved away for a bit then came back in my early teens. She's about 3 years older than me and had very little interest in me cause it's icky for girls to like younger boys. Then later after our teens we reconnected and started dating. Then after I determined she was the right kind of crazy for me I asked her to marry me. Silly crazy lady said yes. Pretty normal stuff so far right? Well during this time both of our parents went to Spitzville with their first marriages. Can you see where this is heading? Her dad and my mom decided fck it. Let's make life awkward for our future generations and get hitched. So now my kids get to call me uncle daddy. Thanks so oh, 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 much mom. There is an abundance of documentation as to how this sort of thing occurs within the fine video libraries of Pvran Hub. Type in the letter S press down and enter and voila. Step sibling or parent isn't the best way to phrase your title cause it sure sounds like you're looking for that kid that broke his arms and started fking his mum. Sounds like someone drank a bit too much last night. Let's see. Bratislava. Capital of Slovakia. Oh here's an interesting fact. You made out with your sister. I lost my virginity to a girl I grew up hanging out with. Our moms were best friends. Years later her parents got divorced and my mom married her dad. Full stop. I was so confused at getting flowers from cemetery but I thought it was just autocorrect. It was all good until you wrote about having kids in the car and leaving them there. I looked at username and sure as hell. Unzips. Just got our incest that is one f ked up subreddit. It is one thing to have an incest fantasy but to actively try and mind fck and take advantage of a family member to have sx with them is super weird and creepy. None of that stuff is actually real. It's not really me who had sx with an in-law but I need to get this off my chest and I think it kind of fits here. If not. I'm really sorry. Both my and my boyfriend's parents got divorced shortly after we were born. His mother married again and my father moved in with his girlfriend and their kid a few years ago. My boyfriend's father and my mother are both single. All were until about a week ago. His dad was a professional musician before his band broke up and my mother occasionally sings at weddings. Funerals or small concerts. So when she needed someone to sing a duet with her for a friend's wedding. He suggested his father. Little did we know that they would end up dating. We started suspecting it when she visited him more than necessary to rehearse the duet and now she confirmed it to me. Needless to say the situation is a bit awkward. I don't have anything against it per se but it's all really strange and I just hope they never want to get married. Not me. 
but a lady who works at my local dive bar was married to this dude. Had a son with him. Then left the dude for his brother. Now. They also have a son together. Their sons eventually asked what they were to each other after being raised as half brothers, with a disclaimer. So the parents all talked it out and agreed that they should be called. Brazins. Well. My sister was dating our stepbrother for a few months. It sounds weird. And our extended family, who are all pieces of shit anyways, made their opinions known. But realistically it wasn't that weird. Our parents got divorced in our teens. And we were all in our mid-twenties when our mom married his dad. We never knew him as a brother of any sort. So it was only weird if you were looking at the little names of the relationship. Shamers. Our extended family made my sister feel horrible about it. They're the same kind of bible thumping folks that are only Christian on Sunday. But want to have a holier than thou attitude towards everyone that isn't in their clique. I don't have a problem with religion. Mind you. I have a problem with assholes. And hiding behind faith isn't going to change what you are. OP you can just giggle erotica. Are you their broken arms? It's me. Margaret. Throw away for anonymity. When I was 15. I lost my virginity to my older sister. There had been some essential tension between us for part of that summer that I was visiting her and her family. Partially instigated by her husband, after some drinking. As are many of these things. What started as some drinking and a truth or dare game ended with a threesome. It was also the only essential experience I've had involving another man. There were a few more times things happened between us that summer. But after I went home. We never discussed it again. Nobody in my family knows. And her now ex-husband hasn't told anyone that I know of either. The only other person I have ever told was my wife. She was surprisingly okay with it and didn't ever say anything to my sister about it. I think living in a different state from my sister had helped decrease any lasting effect it may have had in our relationship as siblings. Edit. Downvoted for honesty. Love reddit sometimes. Gonna get my trousers down before I start this thread. Haha <laughs> yes. I too am stubborn to stories of 12 year olds discovering each other's bodies. After typing that. This seems interesting. I'm here early. Waiting for other comments. How do you make such a normal comment so creepy? Opens up Reddit. Sees link. 2018 is going to be one weird year. I used to fck my sister like a wild one. I would grab her ass with both hands and I would thrust into her deep from behind until an accident happened with one hand. We would sneak off and she has kids and a husband but that never stopped us. Eventually a different family son caught us. So I had to push him out of the castle window and he was left paralyzed. Colon. You tell us. OP. Are all tied. That is such a tired. Overused. And completely accurate stereotype. Nothing has ever happened. But have had some incredibly vivid and hot dreams about both my brother-in-law and father-in-law. Bent over a table kind of hot. Husband thought it was pretty funny. But he had a dream about my sister wearing thigh high leather boots so I guess we're sort of even. How does being railed by two different men. One with a little more salt than pepper. While bent over a dining room heirloom table. And crafted by a man wearing flannel with an immaculate. Otherworldly beard smelling of sawdust and determination. Equate to viewing your sister in. What I imagine are sensibly warm thigh high boots on a cold day. I mean even if she was wearing said warm boots whilst sporting a cashmere tube top and a Burberry trench coat. Hoop earrings and a Yakuza back to 2 featuring the death of the last dragon hoarding a trove of gems and bitcoin futures. This doesn't compare. Edit. Thanks for popping my gold cherry. Throwaway account. Cause duh. I had. And sort of still am having. SX with my stepsister. It all started when I was 15 and she was 17. We were both drunk and she asked me if I wanted to have SX. Our parents were both out of the house. I of course said yes because I'd always thought was pretty hot. That night we shook the bed until we were done. 
She has the best PSSY I've ever gotten to be completely honest. We had SX just about every weekend after that. It's been 5 years and sometimes we still hook up. This thread is literally literotica. Not me but a friend of mine. He had a boyfriend that she broke up with and got over. About one year later. Her dad got a new girlfriend who happened to be my friend's ex-boyfriend's mother. My friend's ex-boyfriend's mom and her dad moved together and eventually got married. It is incredibly awkward at family events. But I think it is hilarious at the same time. Liars of Reddit. Tell me a lie. Are Alabama tales. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things is bad. We're not even going to try to ease into 2018. Are we? We're going to ease into 2018 like they eased into their sister.